Advertising group WPP is cementing its partnership with UN Women. The advertising behemoth is already part of the Common Ground initiative to support the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals on Gender Equality. The deal provides marketing and advertising support up to 2030, focusing on six selected markets. UN Women is clear on what this relationship needs to achieve with WPP. The message is about uh, how far we've come on gender equality, how far we still need to go, and the challenges that we're facing is not being heard to the extent that it needs to be heard. So with partnership with them, we're hoping that uh, we'll find a way of communicating with many more people about what's happening to women, but even more important, what can everybody do to help? WPP has actually been working with UN Women for two years on a whole number of different campaigns. Stop the robbery about the gender pay gap, draw the line about violence against women. But with our new campaign, which is Creativity for Equality, we are focused on the issue of domestic violence. Uh, violence against women in six markets, in the US, in the UK, in Mexico, in India, in Turkey and Thailand. So on the ground, working with UN women in each of those markets, we'll be developing campaigns and using our creative brains and our media firepower to really try and set and shine a light on this really important issue. The campaign, 16 Days of Activism to End Violence Against Women, begins in mid-November and provides the backdrop for WPP's efforts, an example of think global but act local. The campaign will be in a position to help make the actions that will be taken in those six countries more visible. Each of the campaigns are specific to those countries, so it would also be United in that is the one campaign for everyone in the world, but very specific in that they will help us to make the campaign speak to the people of that particular country. Turkey is one of the countries, for instance, that we're dealing with. Turkey has lots of migrants, lots of refugees. If you're addressing issue of ending violence against women there, you need to make sure that you now answer so that it speaks to the Turkish women as well as uh, maybe Syrian women who may live there, uh, so that uh, you are touching uh, many women. I draw a line for the two women who die from violence every week in the UK. If the campaign is, uh, is in Mexico, there are very specific issues around Mexico that you may want to, to, to address. If you're talking to a woman in the US, you have US issues, you want to make sure that uh, the benefits of Me Too, which are so visible in the US, are actually accentuated, that we understand the importance of women speaking out being believed and the importance of the law taking its course. So we will be able to find a way of speaking to every woman everywhere in these six markets so that the message works and men as well because it's important that the men get the message. The latest announcement builds on the Common Ground Initiative and Unstereotype Alliance that the broader advertising industry has signed up to. So what does this next step hope to achieve? Common Ground is about all of those agencies coming together and working where there is common ground, where we all agree gender equality should not be a, something that only women aspire to. Gender equality is a business issue, it's a societal issue, it's a cultural issue and you know, we believe that, that this will be a force for good. Common Ground is about finding the things that, if you like, bind us together things that whether you're in the private sector or in the public sector or you're working for civil society there's a nexus of issues that we could pull together no one likes violence against women i think a, a lot of people including men don't like the fact that women are underpaid i don't think you do so there are certain issues that we could actually bring together in order to make sure that the message that common ground brings is actually enhanced by a leading to specific uh, concerns that society has got, uh, that we have some possibility actually to change, uh, but we can only change if we have a critical mass of people who are saying the same things. There are many social campaigns promoting gender equality, Me Too perhaps being the most prominent. So why does UN Women think more needs to be done? 
Well, because the message has not resonated to the extent that can. The fact that we still have around 6% of women in the leadership of Fortune 500 companies is a problem. The one in three women live with violence is a problem. It means that uh, we have a long way to go and we just have to invest in the message and repeat it and repeat it so that we get more people to believe, to believe in the message. We want to also make sure that uh, we create opportunities for women to speak for themselves uh, because uh, this is a struggle that has meant that uh, the voices of women in many parts of the world are muzzled. So this also creates an opportunity for people to hear from women talking about themselves. But also a lot of time women will also talk about society because they're not just concerned about themselves, they're concerned about the greater good of com the common good. The upcoming campaign may be highlighting violence against women, but WPP and UN Women want to ensure gender equality sits at the foundation of society and the world of business. Women are always working for gender equality. We are always working for gender equality. Women are running for elections, for instance, in different countries. Women don't get elected to the extent that we think deserve to be elected. Through this campaign, we could help to profile uh, the virtues that women bring into leadership that may make people uh, have greater appreciation on women. Women are not represented in decision making uh, at, at, at the right levels and the percentage is actually miserable. Uh, part of this campaign can actually help the work that we're trying to do to profile women as leaders, to create role models for younger women, do that more effectively. Gender equality isn't a choice. It's a business issue, it's a cultural issue, it's a societal issue, and we have a responsibility to over half of our workforce who are female, so 130,000 people all over the world. And for both our men and our women, we want to show that WPP is committed to something that is just just. Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.